So I bought this big bus and I took out the seats and now I'm going to insulate and choose my floor. If you watched my last video, you'll remember I left you on this cliffhanger. So I chose to build on top of what I already had and I started with the... I totally gave away the answer in the intro. So yeah, I started with the floor. Floor related to-do list. One, floor insulation. Two, choose the flooring. Three, work out the design of the floor. Four, put floor in bus. Five, choose color of floor. So first things first. Why should I insulate? Insulation is one of the most important steps of a van conversion. Without it, you're gonna be cold in the winter and hot in the summer. I'm the kind of girl that wears fluffy socks all year round. Might be caught dead without her slippers in the winter. Plus, every night I have a hot water bottle that I put into my bed to keep my toes warm. Yeah, I'm that kind of girl. I get chilly. What to use to insulate? So I ended up using, <coughs> bear with me because I have no idea how to pronounce this, polyisocyanate. Pol polyisocyanate. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you, but probably that's going to come back out, back to front maybe, or maybe it won't, I don't know. I actually have no idea how to say that. I'm gonna text Jim from Shred and Butter, see if he knows how to say this because otherwise you know it's very embarrassing doing a video on something that I can't even pronounce. Jim, how do you say this? P-O-L-Y-I-S-O-N-Y-A-N-U-R-A-T-E. Polis... Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I might as well just tell you now. I am dyslexic, so there are probably going to be a lot of spelling mistakes within my editing already, apparently. I've had one in video too. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. She asked me how to spell orange. I, I try my hardest to not do it. You may not be a brilliant speller, but you'll be better at different things. Just just be aware that that's, that's, that's a thing, and it's going to happen a lot. Jim's just replied. Hey, yeah, we use um, Celotex. Hope that helps. <laughs> okay, so apparently I was calling it something completely different. It's Celotex. Celotex foam board. It's completely non-toxic and it doesn't off-gas anything harmful. It's easy to work with and it's affordable. Plus, when you cut it, it makes this delightful sound. <laughs> Day three. Mum, aka Mandy Scammell. Known her all my life. You know, she bought me. And she is my hero. Well, that was until I realised how awful she was at insulating cutting. Mum's in charge of cutting out the insulation. Doesn't fit. Why? I thought you measured it though, Mum. So me and Mum put some batten down with some glue and screws. We fit the Celotex in the gap. Oh, there's that delightful sound again. All done in one day. We've done it! So that's floor insulation done. So now for the fun bit, choosing the floor. Now I'm deciding what I put down on the floor. It's a very personal choice. Everyone has their own preferences, right? My dream floor would have been antique wooden floorboards. So nice, but who can afford them? So I ended up choosing sawn treated floorboards, which is new wood, but it's new wood. It's just new wood. So now I've chosen the floor. It's time to think about the design. Why floorboards are common in antique houses of the 18th and early 19th century in the UK. So I wanted to kind of replicate that image of like rustic kind of feel in my bus. That's why I opted for a bit more of a wider floorboard. Stripes. Yeah, okay, bear with me, it is relevant. This is a bit of conventional wisdom here. It's the theory of horizontal stripes make things look wider and vertical stripes make things look thinner. So let's just look at my bus for a second. It is definitely a rectangular shape. I would describe the interior space as long and thin. So with this in mind, I wanted to make the space look as wide as possible. Hence why when it came to deciding which way to line my floorboards, I chose width ways. So design of the floor is done. And now I need to put floor in bus. Day four. My wood had arrived, I chopped it up to size, I loaded the van, and then off to the bus. Good to know your short term friend. So today, my support network was Winnie. She mainly just oversaw the whole project from the comfort of the driving seat. So to attach my floor, I screwed it into the button that I fixed down to the floor for the insulation earlier. Or at least I tried to. It looked like I'm struggling a bit. I'm gonna say it took me about a couple of days to complete the whole floor. Mainly because I was using tools that I had never used before. Today was the first day I've used a jigsaw ever! <laughs> Bloody hell, that's a cringe, isn't it? And look what I cut out. I had to build it around a little box. A diesel heater. And this is what I've cut out. Can you see that? And look, that's a round edge over there. And it fits. 
Oh, look at me, so pleased with myself. Winnie wasn't the best support that day at all. In fact, I would call her slightly annoying. She just like demanded all of my attention. Winnie was barking at me, so I just went and sat by her and look, she's happy now. So I also did the stairs of my bus and they are still to this day my favourite thing in the bus. I was having a storage issue with my phone so I didn't manage to film anything but I do have a couple of photos so I'll just show you them. So this is before and this is after. How good does it look? You really can't tell I made that. So now that the flooring in the bus is done, on to the final part, choosing the colour for the floor. So I decided to go for like a dark brown kind of colour and I have two main reasons. One, going back to the idea of trying to make my bus look more rustic, I thought because I'm using new wood, a darker colour would help to age it. And my second reason is Winnie. She's a dog that tends to get very muddy. I have to bath her like every day. So I thought that by having a darker floor, it would essentially hide the dirt. And I wouldn't have to be cleaning 24 seven if Winnie was with me in the bus. So that's all things floor related, now done. She's gonna bust off out of here for two or three years. With Winnie on the gears, watch your sisters. Drive out of here. In the description below, you'll find tools, materials, deets on the bus, links to my social medias, things about Winnie. If there's anything I've missed, just leave a comment. So I think that's it. See you next time.